Leo. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been with me before, thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really has been an amazing year and I can't believe we're almost at the end of this year, moving into 2020 pretty quick. I mean, really, it's just come by so quickly for me, so I'm sure it has for you. For all of you that are brand new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, which is absolutely free, and share these videos. If you like my Facebook page and leave me a comment down below, I can enter you in for completely for a free bracelet giveaway. I give away three each month. Yeah, that's all you got to do and they're absolutely free. It's my way of saying thank you because the support on my channel for myself and my girls has been absolutely amazing and you know, I really truly love sharing my um, channel with you, my views with you, for those of you that appreciate them and as with anything, take it with a grain of salt. It's still a general reading so take what applies to you and throw away what doesn't, okay? We're all in our different journeys at different times. I could be picking up somebody very close to you. I'm using the 1960s deck for your energy and your love interest energy on the Cyril Marchetti but the energies can crisscross over or intertwine. So just remember that, okay? We're all different and it can affect, you know, a family member or a child of yours. So however it resonates for you. I meditated on my Shacy Prism deck. This is for the mutual energies, feelings between you and your love interest, how you're kind of mirroring one another. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I've already been burning the sage. Look, and it's continuing to smolder for you. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's going for you. That's great. Okay. Now these 196 this 1960 deck is already jumping out, does not surprise me. Is 60 years old come 2020, so it's definitely passed through a lot of hands. There's a lot of energy on these cards. How many hands these have passed through? I have no idea. Okay? I got them from a dealer friend of mine. I was so excited to get them. This is what I chose to get for my birthday cuz I'm a Scorpio and it's our birthday month for Scorpios. So this was my treat for myself. So <laughs> anyhow, let's go ahead and get started so far. Oh, wow. Okay. They are definitely jumping out for you. You have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Chariot, and the Tower. Wow. Way to start your reading. What I can see right off the bat, Leo, is that you may be dealing with a King of Pentacles type of person. Now, it's mostly about the energy, more so than the signs. Okay, if I definitely see one sign more than the other, I will definitely let you know. But right now, the King of Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This King is someone who's grounded, solid, a committed type of person, a married type of person, believes in tradition of marriage, believes in family, believes in being stable, grounded, and long-term. So you may be dealing with someone who fits that description or you're dealing with a, you know, a, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, but there's good news coming. There's good news. Um, the Page of Wands is a messenger, okay? That's fire energy. That's your energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. We also have the Chariot, Major Arcana, and the Tower, which is Major Arcana. So there's something huge going on here, Leo, significant. You know, when you get Major Arcanas like this, this signifies major events occurring in your life. If it's not your life, it could be your love interest I'm picking up. Remember, it could go vice versa or intertwine. Okay, somebody here is going to receive or give some good news and it's going to involve um, possible travel. It may involve somebody that, um, you know, they all of a sudden something happened either in your life or their life. A foundation may have come crumbling down or something just out of the blue just happened. And when the tower card shows up, that's guided by the universe. This is something that needed to come down. This is divine intervention here. Okay, so something wasn't working, whether that's a relationship or an actual building or a business, something the universe guided to come down because it's divinely guided that this was not working, whatever it was, okay? And it was in order to move to somebody on their forward fated journey. This is about fate. This is about destiny. This is about moving forward on the chariot, okay? being successful in moving forward after a tower moment it's so that somebody could move forward in their life and it was destined to happen here okay there's going to be news coming either you're going to receive good news or you're going to give good news and again it's your energy 
So you may be the one giving some good news to a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or vice versa, or anybody that fits that description, okay? This can even be a family member. Let's keep going here. I'm going to pull the Cyril Marchetti deck now for your love interest energy. For Leo's love interest, please, what does Leo need to know? Five of Wands. Ooh, the Emperor. Two more, please, spirits. Okay, three more. Okay, then. <laughs> you know, normally I wouldn't take those, but when I feel them fly out a certain way, then I feel the need to. Ace of Cups. Hello, Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Wow. I'll get into it in a sec. <laughs> Mirroring one another right there. Page of Cups twice. You both have the Page of Cups. Okay, you and your love interest may be both going through something at the same time, and there's good news coming in, perhaps you toward one another. Ah, this could involve a lot of love from somebody from your past, or they, you, or both of you. Wow, okay, what I'm seeing on your love interest side, or vice versa, however it resonates for you, remember, this is a general read, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This emperor here is someone who likes order and control. Again, this can be an Aries or a Taurus or somebody fitting the emperor uh, energy. This emperor is somebody who likes to cross their T's, dot their I's, and have their ducks in a row. This person likes order and control, not only in family, but business, relationships. They like their ducks in a row. They are somebody of tradition. So you definitely could be dealing with an earth and fire sign doesn't have to be it could be somebody fitting those qualities okay this emperor is somebody that plans they like to plan okay and there has been either some competition or some fighting arguing bickering uh some kind of challenges along the way okay and i'm seeing that over here so either this is you with them having some struggles having some fighting arguing disagreements or there's been competition that could be however it resonates for you this is a this is something that the universe divinely guided to come crashing down something wasn't working to move you toward a faded destined path interestingly enough that faded destined path can be a brand new love brand new love for somebody though from the past or somebody you feel you've known from a past lifetime but it may also involve children it could Maybe one or you or both of you have children. doesn't have to be. But this is the Six of Cups. This is known as a soulmate card, okay? And what was I saying about a destined, faded path here at the chariot? This is the universe having its hand in here toward divinely guiding a change. A tower signifies a change that is destined to happen to bring about a brand new beginning. A faded, destined beginning. This can be a new child, a new love. I'm feeling it's about a new love here because we have somebody that's taking their control back, I feel. Okay? They've been through a struggle. And a struggle can be anything. This can be struggle with family members. This can be a struggle with your love interest. It can be a struggle with your children. Anybody. Anybody. This is overall challenges. Okay? Overall challenges. And somebody is has become the emperor, started taking back control of their life, I'm feeling. And it's going to bring about love. Somebody may be fighting for love or there's competition in love for somebody from the past. Either way, there is good news coming in. Both sides are showing it. We're going to dig a lot deeper. If this resonates for you, awesome. Happy to hear it. Leave me some comments below. I want to know what's going on with you. I love reading all of your comments. I love it when you comment toward one another and help one another. That's the best. That is the absolute best. Love reading that. Thank you for doing that. Help each other. Lift each other up. That's how life should be. This is good news. It could be something about, you know, um, um, something that was very difficult finally ended ended and it's a, such a relief i'm ready to move forward because wands are about action and leo you are very action oriented you're a fire sign you've got that beautiful burning fire within you that gets things done you just like to get things done right you don't like a bunch of drama just let's get things done you like to have fun and you're full of spunk and fire and positivity and that's a beautiful thing and i feel like you and a love interest of yours are coming together that's what i feel like 
I feel like it could be somebody from your past or somebody you've known, you know, for a previous lifetime. You feel like you just met each other and you just clicked. That kind of soulmate type of connection here, because Six of Cups is about a possible soulmate. And, you know, this could be you're reconciling with someone from your past, but it wasn't met without perhaps some opposing opinions from family members or friends or children or your children or their children or mother-in-laws, father-in-laws, or this could be arguing and fighting between you two or previous partners, okay? However it resonates. We do have a closing of a chapter here, for sure. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is, is a foundation crumbling. But this foundation was faulty to begin with, meaning that it's a foundation that was already broken. This was th this takes a long time for this to happen, especially if it's a long-term relationship. This means that foundation was already faulty. It was already cracked. It was already having problems long before somebody else came into the picture. That's how I'm seeing that. That's how I feel. Okay, very strong. Let's get some clarification on that King of Pentacles. Now, if this resonates for you, for those of you brand new that haven't heard this, I know that all of you that have already subscribed to me, I understand that you've already heard this, but all of the new people have not, so bear with me here. There is an extended continuation of this reading on Vimeo, okay? It's another 15 plus or minus minutes if you're interested, if this is resonating for you. It's a lot less expensive than a personal reading, okay? Way less expensive for sure, but it is still general. I just want to put that out there. So if you feel so inclined and this is resonating for you and you want to hop over to Vimeo after I've completed your reading here, the link will be down below uh, in the description box as well as pinned in the comments below. Okay, so clarifying the King of Pentacles is the Seven of Cups. So there you go. Somebody had a lot of other decisions, choices, options, challenges here. These are cups. That's about emotions, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Somebody was looking at the different opportunities that they had. Now, keep in mind, opportunities does not necessarily mean other lovers, okay? Other opportunities can be anything. You know, um, if, if I see this person, if I go back to this person from my past, okay, Am I going to stay at my job? Are we going to buy a house together? Are we going to move in together? You know, do we share bank accounts? Like this king here, this king of pentacles is a very serious king. Female, male, doesn't matter. They're very serious. Okay. This king of pentacles wants long-term. They want stability. They don't like change. So once they make a decision, it's made. This king who I'm feeling is also the emperor. This could be you, could be them, could be a bit of both of you wants stability long term wants everything done in the right way okay again liking those ducks in a row they want to make all these choices and they take them very seriously okay this is a very long term king so whoever you are coming into or them to you this person is a very serious person and they're looking at all options and choices. This, I see things in this cups. I don't see emotions, I see things. I see here they're showing a wreath, they're showing a snake, they're showing a person. Okay, these are all different choices and decisions that this king is trying to make. Okay, so whether that's you or them, okay? How is this decision going to affect me this is something that happens all of a sudden though but they've been planning something either you or them or both of you this person's a planner they don't just do this overnight okay they don't just say oh I've decided to do this today this is somebody that really thinks about what they want to do where they want to go who they want to be with because somebody here has a brand new beginning in love. So whether this is you with your person and, you know, they're closing out a previous chapter in their life or whether it's you, okay, or whether it's you two separating, going towards someone else. Either way, this is a destined, fated change here with the chariot here. This is something that was meant to move forward. This is progress. And seeing as how I see the page of wands on both sides, both of your sides, this is telling me that you're bringing each other good news. Okay, maybe both of you had to close out a chapter. So one person is already on their new beginning, okay, but it's, you know, met with some, you know, challenges along the way. Again, differing opinions, possibly from family or friends or however that may resonate. But either way, this is you giving each other, I feel, some good news. That's how I'm seeing it. Let's get some more clarification and see where we're going from here. Okay, let's clarify that tower. We definitely need to check that out. Oh, that just wanted to jump out. OMG, look at that. Mirroring each other. So you may be biting, biting. Did you, are you biting each other? <laughs> I'm 
sorry, that just slipped out. Wow, maybe you are. Gosh, I hope not. Leo. <laughs> okay, I don't want to know about that. <laughs> anyways, wow, I don't know why that just came out. But anyways, this is the Five of Wands. This is about those challenges. And you're both experiencing them. Now, this is either you with one another or this is you with your other. Okay, you're both experiencing some challenges, some opposing opinions. People maybe don't like this relationship. They don't believe in this relationship. Could be family, friends, children, loved ones, brothers, sisters, mother-in-laws, father-in-laws. Either way, this is about the challenges that you go through when there's a huge, massive disruption, change, or chapter closing in your life, okay? Could be that somebody ended a marriage, a previous relationship, a long-term relationship, involved children, doesn't have to be, and these are the challenges that we're met with, okay? Definitely. There, you know, something major happened here, but it's faded. It was absolutely destined to be. This was not a solid foundation to begin with anymore. Something had to give because it wasn't healthy anymore. Let's clarify the chariot. Chariot for Leo, please. Clarify the chariot for Leo. Clarify the chariot for Leo. See how these fly out? I just love these cards. Ah, see? Yes. This needed to go away because it was unhealthy. Okay? There was fighting, arguing, bickering, different things going on, I feel, in a family or love situation. And so here comes the tower to end it because it was unhealthy and to bring about wish fulfillment. This was to clarify, to bring about your wish fulfillment, yours, theirs, both of yours. This is going to bring about everything you hoped for, okay? It can also be about financial gain. Let's clarify the page of wands. Can be both, can be relationship, financial, it all affects one another, doesn't it? Could involve you. There you are, hello, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This is a king of wands, somebody who's fiery, feisty, and full of passion. That's definitely my Leo's, so that's beautiful. Okay, so here you are. Here you are getting or giving some good news. I feel this is you getting some good news, okay, because this is your side. Okay, but again, you've got the page of wands on both sides. This messenger's facing you. I feel like you're going to be getting some good news, so expect it. Okay, however it is you receive this news, and it can be about money, it can be about anything. I feel it's about the ending of challenging times, the end of that, because the chariot is here to move you forward, to move you both forward. So whether that's you with a new love interest, which I feel it is, there's the Ace of Cups there. This is about bringing wish fulfillment to fruition. This is about getting that news that something closed out it's the end of having conflict this conflict is over if it's not yet i feel it's going to be it's closing out the universe is closing it out and saying enough is enough and here comes this messenger right towards you to say okay it's over it's over and it's done okay that's totally how i'm reading that let's go ahead and get clarification of the five of wands on your love interest side all right, let's check it out. Now, if you want to know about any of these decks I have, they're down below in the description box. This is a Cyril Marchetti deck. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, somebody's become recently possibly single. This is also somebody who's single, abundant, on their own. They are self-sufficient. They don't mind being by themselves. They're quite happy by themselves. If they choose you, it's because they love you. They want to be with you, not because they have to. Okay, this is somebody that is able to stand on their own two feet, not somebody who's dependent upon somebody else. So it won't be a codependent relationship, I'm feeling. This is about, you know, again, ending that tower moment, having completion here. I wouldn't be surprised if the world card shows up next. Whoever it is, could be you, is taking charge, taking charge of their life, overcoming these challenges. Being single, being self-sufficient, and gaining their momentum back. They're getting their mojo back. It could be you, it could be your person. This is fantastic. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups, and then we're going to go ahead over into the Extended. I will clarify the Six of Cups over there. Let's see if this is a soulmate of yours. Let's see any act forward action that we're taking. Ace of Cups, please, for Leo. Ace of Cups for Leo, please. Clarify. Ah! Hello, world card. What was I just saying? Completion. Right here. A new journey. A new path. 
This is somebody that closed out a karmic relationship, a foundation that was no longer working. This was probably a long-term marriage commitment. Whatever the case, it's a chapter that's ending either in your life or their life. It's come to completion now. Okay, it could involve a Taurus, which is Earth energy I was picking up, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or you, Leo. Okay, so you could be involved with one of the other fixed signs, but it doesn't have to be. This is about going on that new journey, completing the karmic cycle. This means that you learned all the lessons you were meant to learn. Now you're meant to move forward on a brand new journey that's going to involve a brand new love. Okay, this is a birth to of a new idea, but usually it's this is about love. Cups are emotions, and with the six of cups that came in trotting right next to it, this is soulmate energy here. Okay, could be somebody from your past again. And you may be traveling to see them if they're at a distance, doesn't have to be. This is about a new journey. This is about completion and having that brand new beginning in love, that new opportunity, that wish fulfillment, that faded new journey. This is a faded new journey and path for you, for them, for both of you. That's totally how I'm seeing it. You may bring each other this good news right at the same time. OMG, that is just beautiful. Let's go ahead and find out, is this a soulmate? Where are we going from here? Is there progress? What is this emperor's next move? Okay, let's find out what this good, good news is about. I'm gonna clarify the page of cups on your side, the wish fulfillment. Let's see what these choices and options are. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the mutual energies between the two of you right now. Let's get a couple of cards and then you can meet me over at Vimeo if it resonated. And for those of you leaving me now, I'll see you next time. These are already jumping out for you. Aha, the fool card, taking a chance, risk. This is about brand new opportunity. Right after closing a chapter, this is someone willing to step off a cliff and take a risk, take a chance on new love, new opportunities, newness overall. This is about, you know, this is a time when you've got a blank piece of paper, almost like a bucket list, okay? Think of it as a bucket list and you can do whatever you want you're told you could start your life over right now. What do you want it to look like? Who do you want to be with? Who do you want it to be with? What do you want to do? What have you always wanted to do? Do you want a new business? You know, what is it? That's what this is. Taking that chance and risk and having a brand new life and opportunities. This is the mutual energies between both of you. And that makes total sense. Ace of cups on this side, tower on this side. You both have brand new beginnings here. Twin flame energy, soulmate, twin flame energy unknown circumstances so there's a lot of things that maybe you don't know you aren't aware of or they're not aware of let's find out if we're gonna get out of this energy i do have the page of wands on both sides it's about good news coming in maybe you haven't come together quite yet in order to bring each other this news that's how i'm feeling but we will clarify that as well in the extended okay so definitely don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribing is absolutely free hit the notification bell if you want further notifications from my channel for next time i also have playlists check your moon rising signs sometimes they resonate more for you sometimes my moon sign resonates more for me so with that being said if this is where you leave me i thank you so much for being here and um you know if uh, you feel so inclined to get in on the bracelet giveaway you know what to do thank you so much and for those of you meeting me on vimeo i will see you there in a minute and a shout out to NT. I'm sorry it's been so long, okay? Namaste, blessings to all of you. Bye for now.